Hamster and I thought I'd do another episode for you today on carving our sycamore longbow. Um, now this is where we got to roughly last time um, and today's video was going to be about shaping these handles. Um, however I was rooting around through my toolbox and I found a tool that I don't use very often that's absolutely ideal for this kind of work um, and that is this. Now this is a spoke shave. Um, very similar in, in sort of operation to say a draw knife or something like that, um, but it's essentially got a, uh, a plane blade in here um, and it is really, really useful for carving curved pieces of wood. Um, now, traditionally these would have been used for making things like uh, wheel spokes, um, I'm pretty sure they were used in things like barrel staves and stuff like that, um, but you know, I've had one for a long time now and it's very, very rare that I will use one, uh, mainly because it sits in the back of the toolbox and I forget that I've got it. Um, but I was digging around today and I thought this would be really, really useful. So what I'll do, let me move the camera just a little bit closer in and I'll show you exactly what it is that I'm talking about. Right then guys, so here is our bowl and I'll give you a bit more of a close up. So I've done a little bit of work on this today already. Um, with the, with the uh, spoke shave and in lieu of a workbench and, and certainly in lieu of a vice I'm just going to be using my carving stump and all I'm going to be doing is just resting it against the side of the carving stump um, my knee actually makes a really really good little sort of indentation for the, the bowl to just sit in um, and I'm just leaning slightly forward into this just so that it's making contact with my stomach so that I'm putting a little bit of pressure just to hold it in place and all you want to do with your spoke shave is just from probably half to two thirds of the way down. Don't go right to the to the to the very back um, because you will get splits. But from sort of three quarters of the way down, you can go all the way to the other end of the bowl. It won't go as far as the curve up here, but that's fine. We can work on that in a little bit. But essentially, this is a really quick and easy and efficient way of smoothing down these curves. Now, you can use this to do a lot more work. You can take a lot more material off. Now, these are adjustable, um, so you can you give these little knurled knobs here a twist, and the blade is very, very similar to um, a, a plane. You know, you, you can have the, uh, the blade sticking out further or, or less, depending on what you want. I tend to use these in quite a, a sort of a relaxed manner. I tend, generally tend to have the blade um, very, very close to um, sort of the flat edge on this side here because I don't want to take off too much material. Now if you had a, you know, maybe you had a, a big branch that you wanted to try and smooth down to the round you could maybe take off a lot more but you know these are pretty much shaped already I'm, all I want to do is smooth them down um, and this is absolutely no effort at all I'm putting hardly any pressure on I'm not putting too much force into it and it's just shaping and smoothing down the outside of this bowl. Now you will get tool marks on this and um, this is still slightly damp, the wood, the wood hasn't fully seasoned yet. Um, so you know you won't get as fine a shaving or as smooth a shaving as if it was dry and what I'll probably do is once this is dried out I'll give it a quick going over with this before I sand it. But essentially, this has managed to take out all of my axe marks. I mean, you will see, hopefully it picks up all right on the camera, around about here, you can see some chatter marks, um, which is essentially just where the spoke shave, as it's been going along, has kind of juddered a little bit. Um, that does happen, nothing to worry about. It will sand out really, really easily, even if you don't use this when it's dried. And when you're done, you flip it over, use your other leg as a stop and then again from maybe two thirds of the way down just go back up the other way and what this is doing is just making sure your bowl is nice and even you know you can see hopefully here I've kind of got a couple of lines in here and that's where the blade has cut sort of roughly the, the width of my finger and it's left a little bit of an edge or a little bit of a corner on either side. Again, no problem at all. All you need to do, very lightly, I mean again I'm, I'm putting no pressure on this whatsoever 
um, I'm literally just guiding it with my hand. Now you do get, if you don't put any pressure on at all, this is probably quite a good example, just here you can see a lot of chatter marks, um, and that's because the um, spoke shave is kind of vibrating because there's no pressure on it. If I just put a very small amount of pressure on there, those chatter marks then disappear. And when you've done what is essentially the, um, the flat part of your bowl edges, um, as opposed to the rounded parts here, you can move a bit closer in. And again, you will get a lot of chatter marks on this part. Make sure these are tied up nice and tightly. But what you can do is work your way around that curve And any axe marks that you had will all start to blend together as you're taking the high spots off. So all you're left with is a fairly nice rounded curve. Again, you've got chatter marks on there, uh, but they, they are a lot smaller and a lot finer than your axe marks, which means that they will sand out very, very easily. Right then guys, well that was it. Um, just a very quick introduction to a very useful tool that I certainly don't make enough use of myself. Um, and what I wanted to say is whether or not you're a veteran wood carver or you're just starting out, these can be picked up for probably five to 10 pounds either online, probably a lot cheaper if you pick them up from a, you know, a second hand store or a car boot sale or something like that. Um, they're really, really easy to use. As Soon as you've got your head round sort of setting them up, getting the blade inserted properly, making sure you haven't got too much sticking out. Um, these can be really, really useful and versatile tools. Um, so, you know, if you are making things like this um, or anything with a, sort of a curved wooden surface that you just want to smooth down, even out, get rid of some tool marks, a spoke shave is a really, really good way to do that. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope it was useful. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.